Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing my August TBR. This is my first month after spending the last few months doing my Hugo Awards reading project, so I had to spend a lot more time figuring out what I wanted to read this month. I'm still working on my Cosmere reread project because there's a lot of the Cosmere left and Rhythm of War is only coming out in November. So my main job now, if I want to look at it as a job, is to actually catch up on the Cosmere reread because the last couple of months I kept saying I was going to get to more than I actually have. So there's a lot I want to read this month, but first of all, I really need to read Mistborn these are all, yeah. Okay, Mistborn books two and three. Two is The Well of Ascension and three is The Hero of Ages. A friend of mine has been rereading The Cosmere and he keeps sending us WhatsApp messages with commentary about how things are going in books two or three or things that he's having an issue with. And I can't remember some of those parts so well, so I really need to hurry up and read these in order to be able to actually respond. In terms of the Cosmere, I also would like to get to Warbreaker this month. Warbreaker used to probably be my favorite Brandon Sanderson book. That was before the Stormlight Archive had come out at all, like before the release of The Way of Kings, when I had only read the Mistborn series Elantris and Warbreaker. And I always really had a soft spot for this book, except for the humor of one of the three point of view characters. So it'll be interesting to see how I feel about that now. I feel like I've gotten a better grasp on what Brandon Sanderson's sense of humor is from reading some of his other non-Cosmere books. And actually, I think his sense of humor might just be kind of quite dumb and silly, but knowing that that is like genuinely the things that he finds to be funny and not just an attempt at writing a funny character, I think it makes me actually maybe find it funnier myself. The same as, you know, when you have a friend or someone who's just making a lot of dad jokes, like even if they're not actually funny, it still makes you laugh. The next book I want to read is a book that I suddenly started hearing a lot about on booktube recently but had really never heard of before. It's called Senlin Ascends and it's by Josiah Bancroft. From what I've seen about this book so far, it seems to be set in more of a steampunk kind of world where a headmaster, Senlin, goes on his honeymoon to the Tower of Babel with his new wife and she gets lost or mysteriously disappeared and he has to go through this journey to try to find her. Several people have recommended this book really highly and I've been really into non-traditional, like more unique fantasy recently and I feel like this might be that, so I'm hoping that this will be a book that I really enjoy. So another book I've been hearing a lot about on booktube recently that never really crossed my radar until now is Malice by John Gwynn. This is the first in the Faithful and the Fallen series. This seems like a more traditional dark epic fantasy series. There are a few volumes. There are gods and kings and prophesied heroes. And I've heard some really good things about it. A lot of people have been talking about it recently. I think it's been out for a little while, but I had never really noticed it. I haven't been as much in the mood for traditional fantasy, but it's also something I'm always looking for a good one. So if this is a series that I really get into, that would be awesome. I'm going to confess that I read the first few pages of this book and I was really triggered by a relatively small thing which is that the characters seem to have Irish and Celtic names, but the gods and sort of magical religious stuff all seem to have Hebrew names or pseudo-Hebrew names. And I don't know why this bothers me so much, but when I notice really obvious language stuff or stuff being drawn from like multiple sources, I. I don't know why I find this so triggering. I think it's just me. I don't think there's actually anything so bad about it, but it's just really putting me off from reading the book. So if you have read this series or this book and you really liked it, please just comment and tell me it's worth it to keep going because I'm scared that I'm going to DNF a perfectly good book over being kind of triggered by something stupid. The next book I want to read is A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Perry. I have read one book by H.G. Perry, which was called The Unlikely Escape of Uriah Heep, which I liked. I didn't think it was great. The ending let me down a little bit, but I overall thought it was fun and I liked the writing style 
well. And I do like what seems like the premise of this new series, which is an alternate history with magic set in the 19th century, dealing with politics and stuff between France and England. This is the kind of thing that I could really end up liking, so I hope that I'll end up enjoying this one. The next book I want to read is Ancillary Mercy by Anne Lucky. This is the third book in her science fiction trilogy. The trilogy is called The Imperial Raj, but I feel like I'm still not saying that correctly, and she hasn't really said how to say it, except that in this universe there are many different dialects and accents, so no matter how you're saying it, you're probably right somewhere, which is, you know, comforting. Um, so this is the third book in the trilogy. I really, I liked them both. I especially enjoyed the second one because it was a bit actually smaller in scope and more tightly plotted and sort of used a lot of the payoff from the first book. The first book was a little more complex and high stakes and a little harder to understand, but there were also a lot of things that were set out in the first book that never got completely resolved about this world and politics and how things were going on a larger scale. So I'm assuming that those things are going to get addressed in this third book and I'm looking forward to seeing how she concludes the series. It has definitely been a really interesting read, sometimes a little bit more challenging based on how she tells the story and some of the concepts that are in it, but this has been a good one overall. Then we have The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. Is that how you say it? I usually check, but I forgot. Um, so this is, I think, another more traditional, maybe a little bit grimdark epic fantasy about an orphan who turns out to be long lost nobility, but it's not as great as you might think. I've heard some really good things about this as well. It was a 2019 debut. It was really well received. It could end up being too grimdark for me, but I have high hopes. I hope that this will be really enjoyable. I mentioned this in my review of The Raven Tower by Anne Lucky, which was a Hamlet retelling, but I got hit by this craving to read Hamlet. So I went over to the used bookstore and got this copy for $2. They had a bunch of different editions and I didn't know which one to get. So I got this one because it's slim and didn't have a ton of extra stuff. But it does have kind of a weird stain on it, so hopefully that won't distract me too much. It's a long time since I've read any Shakespeare. I used to really enjoy reading Shakespeare, but honestly I've always loved especially reading the sonnets and memorizing sonnets, and sometimes it's hard to sit down and actually read a play instead of watching it, so we'll see. Maybe I'll have to find somebody that's willing to read it out loud with me for like three or four hours. I've also been craving some nonfiction recently, so this is a book I picked up recently. It's called It's All Relative Adventures Up and Down the World's Family Tree by A.J. Jacobs, and it's I think just about him exploring uh, all the different people that he's distantly related to and what it means to be related to people and how we are all interconnected somewhere back in the past. So it's it's pretty short. I find this kind of nonfiction is often quite fun to read and usually doesn't take that long to get through. So I don't know if I'm going to get to this one, but I think it could be a nice change of pace and probably a nice break from all of the fantasy. There are two more books that I would like to get to, but I have them on hold at the library and I don't know if they're going to come this month or not. The first one is The Relentless Moon by Mary Robinette Cole. It's the third book in her Lady Astronaut series. I really enjoyed the first two. These are alternate history. I guess they're science fiction in terms of they are about science and about humanity having to accelerate the space race and then try to settle other planets a lot sooner because of an environmental catastrophe that has happened on Earth. So the first two books followed one character, and then the third book is apparently set during the same time as the second book, but following a character that was a secondary character in the first two books. It seems like it's going to be really interesting. I have really enjoyed this series so far, and I'm looking forward to reading this one. If I don't get to it this month, maybe I will be able to read it in September. Another book that I would like to maybe get to this month, but I'm not sure if I will, is Midnight Blue Light Special, which is the second book in the Encrypted series. I recently reviewed the first book, which I read because Encrypted was nominated for the Hugo Award for Best Series this year. I thought it was a really fun, enjoyable read, kind of a 
candy book, so to speak. And so it's a series that I really do want to continue and I'm sure it would be really fun to get to pick up the second one this month. So we'll see if I get to it. So those are all of the things on my TBR. It's a little bit funny not working my way through these lists of books that were uh, finalists for the Hugo Awards. So I don't know what I'm going to do in September either, other than keep reading The Cosmere. So if you guys have any recommendations for books that I should be reading, please comment down below. Let me know what you think I would like, and I would love to get some suggestions.